All right, so so welcome, welcome, Sh Sh can't pronounce your name, <laughs> Shraviskan. All right, so pretty much what I was explaining to him is on the RSI, what we're looking for is for the crossovers, right? And the main thing that I'm looking in, in, in the RSI, again, is the, uh, to break the 50 RSI. Once it goes above that, then everything else has to match. The crossover on your statistic, you got a nice signal on the RSI, and then there is another crossover on your uh, moving average, and boom, take it for 10 pip. Now the question is, where should I put my stop loss, right? So let me, let me change this into, make the thickness there. So what I do is I always put my stop loss right uh, below where the uh, parabolics are sitting. Right. So if, if you look into here, Basically, you put in your stop right on the big arrow. Yeah. Now, what you can do is you can give it a little bit more room, but you're not going to see the triple arrow, obviously, on your mobile. But uh, so basically, uh, let me see. From here, you're giving yourself 25 pips. Right. And look at what the, look at what the big arrow is sitting. So you put in your... Uh, your stop loss right with the, under the big arrow. Now, this obviously you're doing this analysis on the four hours. Yeah. If, if you move to 15 minute, then then this this is a long uh, home run, pretty much. You get, the tray is, is huge. Oh man, what are people calling me? Uh, you see, I just I just click on the 15 minute. And the 50 minutes is telling you that we have a signal on what? On the four hours and daily. Because what I set up on your PC is only to give me signal only on those two time frames, on the daily and the four hours, nothing else. I don't want to know about short uh, time frame because my short time frames usually are my entries. You remember when I did that or not? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's all you need. That's all you're gonna be getting. Only daily and four hours. But in here, obviously, we're getting a signal that is overbought, detected on on uh, H4. Right. So if you see here, uh, that's your RSI. So the RSI is sitting here overbought, but is, I mean, all we're looking for is the to break the 50. That's all we're looking for to take our 10 pips. But in this, in this case, in this scenario here, let me make this bigger. So you would have take the tray. Uh, right here, right where the where I put the uh, vertical line on your four yeah. hours. So if you would have take that trade in there, then you would have be in profit from that point on, all the way, let's say in here, you would have be 192 pips. Right. You see, that's what I like the larger time frame because it controls the small one. Right, so you wait for the four hour and the day one, then you drop down to M15 for your entry. Yes. You could do it on the 15, you could do it on the 30 minute. Right. So you can do on those two. But usually I, I like the 30 minute and 50 minute because anyway, that's, a, that's your shorter time frame. Because you, and you're analyzing the market on the daily and four hours. Yeah. But four hours for me is very powerful. But that's basically, that's, that's what it is. Now, I, I'm going to delete this, and I want you to give me, we're going to find, uh, let me go to four hour. We're going to find a perfect sample because this is ready set up on your PC. Yeah. 
So and I, what I, my goal here is make sure that uh, you, you know what you're gonna be looking for. Uh, let's drop another pair. Let's drop EG, which EG is a cell right now. All right, so if you read here, uh, on the EG, uh, okay, it's just, it's not giving us anything yet. Okay, I want you to analyze this market and tell me if you would have taken a sell, if if not, explain me this pair on the four hours. Right. Okay, tell me what you're seeing. Based on what I just told you. Will you take will you take that trade that sell? Would I? No. Why? Because it hasn't crossed the 50. That's just crossing over, and I've only got two arrows. No, forget about the arrow. Remember, you're not seeing the arrow on your phone. Give me one. You're not seeing the arrow on your phone. Ah, right. What I want you to see is we have the arrow. Obviously, I, I add the, the triple arrow in there, so your vision, I mean, you can see the picture more clearly, but that's good. So a lot of people are in a cell right now on this particular tray. Yeah. But based on what, what I just told you, will you enter? No. Thank you. Definitely not. Now, where will you take a buy? Can you point me? Can you put the vertical line if you were to take a buy signal? Um, that one. I would have taken. No. Possibly there. That's it. Just crossing. Stochastics crossed over. Parabolic size on the bottom, and then it went up. That's it. That's it. And how many pips are you looking for? You're looking for 10, right? Yeah. So in there, you got more than 10. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So in here, if you were to take that, oh my goodness, this is amazing. 290 pips. With, on the 10 pip flip, would you stack more than one trade? I mean, don't, don't over leverage. You can take only one. So I've got like a 8,000 8, pound account. So I would do 0 0.40 on a 10 pip. Would it be safe to see a stack it twice? And then once I've got me 10 pips, get out. I mean that that is that that is your uh, main job to grab those ten pips. Yeah, that's so, it. That's all I want to do ten pips. Right. So what I want you to get into this is just because you got enough uh, found in your account, it doesn't mean that you're gonna go heavy because this is this is new to you. So right. you gotta, you gotta master this process, and once you know exactly the rules what to look because your eyes gonna be spotting this all over and remember we are here on the four hours but as soon as you had that you you're supposed to go to the uh, your lower time frame so just speak either the 15 minute or either the 30 minute because even though if you would have moved to one hour then you still got the signal right. so but that was a perfect example for instance when you see the market, you know, choppy like this, don't, don't do it. No. Even though for 10, 10 pip is so ridiculous, easy to grab, you can grab 10 pip and move out. Even if you were to take another, another uh, 10 pip uh, tray here, nice crossover, your parabolic is pointing up. Uh, we got a, uh, it broke uh, your 50, uh, 
safety line on your RSI, and then we got a nice crossover on your statistic and boom. 10 pips. 10 pips is right there. Yeah. But this bad boy went all the way to, to 77 pips. Once yeah. you know how to grab successfully 10 pips, because you're gonna grow your account grabbing 10 pips every single time. Yeah. And then you will be amazed. By the end of, of the month, you're probably you're gonna have a couple hundred uh, pips. <laughs> Because for a lot of people, grabbing 10 pips is, is, is hard. Some make fun of it. Believe it or not, I do get messages sometimes saying, hey, you know, 10 pips is ridiculous. Why would I get 10 pips? Trust me, man. 10 pips can get you out of financial issue. Yeah. If you know how to do it. Because it's about being consistent, growing your account every single day. My daily goal is to grab between 1.5% to 2% daily right so because at the end of the month i want to see 30 35 percent grow on my account that's a lot but yeah. people don't, they think in a different way oh no but well it, it, it's whatever works best for you but at least you had the rules now this is the rsi so either you can just learn on this particular one or you also, I just download you the Stairmaster, right? Yeah. So that one is what Pat teach every morning. Yeah. And, and what I have, what I put here is the four hours and the, the daily is the yellow dot. Right. But on this one, yes, you will need a triple arrow system. Right. So uh, let's see here. You see here on the triple arrow, okay, okay, we got triple arrow there, we got the four hours and the daily, it's yeah. uh, showing us the market is taking off, look at that, one stair, two stair, and then it, it did a pullback. I'm sorry, it went, it went from the red, it dropped. It gave us another stair. Then, and it went up again, it jumped. It gave us a sell signal, it, it, it dropped. But look at this, this is so small. If you pull a trend line there, look at that. Where is the, where is the sellers? The sellers are weak. If, yeah. you, if you look at it that way, the sellers are weak. They don't have strength. The strength is, is on, the, on the buyers. You can look it up in that way too. See how the trend is a huge impulsive move. Yeah. Now, if looking for another small pullback, you can always check your pullback based on, uh, on the movement. Look at this, where's the sellers? They're, they're weak. But your impulsive move is super strong. Right. So you got all these are weak, weak, weak seller, weak seller. We still, in here, yes, we did have a strong pullback. This was nice. That's what I sometimes I like to pull that trend line in there. And uh, you, and then if it break, then it, it it, this cell is not validated anymore. Right. So in this particular one, it they went up and they broke your trend line. That's time to get out. Don't be in it. Right. So and then it took off. Look at what the seller, the sellers come in again. They were weak versus the buyers. They came back again. Still super weak, weaker than before. They're still weak. Then we got a nice one here. And the triple arrow was seated in here previously. But look at here, this is a nice impulsive. If you would have put your tread line in there and it, it broke it, then get out. So your cell is not valid anymore.
And basically, that, that's what it is. That's, that's what you're going to be seeing. But the triple arrow is, is, is super easy, man. It's super easy to, to use. And I know you had some issue before with that guy from Hawaii. Yeah. And, uh, but I think uh, this will help you. And, uh, you know, our team, our group, our, on our chat room, you can get a lot of info, not just from me. Uh, Jenny is, is a beast as well. Everybody love her. I just don't do a lot of live training because I don't want to get people to know me that well like that. But um, I mean, <laughs> everybody know their own thing, you know? But, yeah. Shavilla, do you have any question? Shavilla, are you there? Uh, uh, Ir Irving, are you asking me? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yes, I thought, you know, uh, let you finish and then I'll ask. Initially, okay. when I couldn't see your screen, that is when I think you put the perpendicular uh, line. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. The, that strategy we were talking about is a flip-flop, correct? Uh, oh, yes. On the RSI? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Now, my question is this. Um, when you asked uh, James whether he would take the trade on four hours, um, the four hours still didn't give all the indications like crossing over, uh, above 50 or below 50 all that. Let, but, me, let me go there. Let me go there. So we we both can learn. You and uh, and James. Hello, James. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Thanks Perfect. for letting me join you. That's fine. All right. Um, okay. On this trade, uh, if you see, there are uh, parabolic dots on the top uh, about ar around the white arrow and the red arrow. Uh, at the right hand side top corner. Right. Now, it, it's still not given all the uh, indicators. But if you go to H1, will be here? Of course. Okay. Now, uh, can we go to H, H1, please? Sure. Hold on. What you need to do is when you are on, on four hour, it, it, what are you planning to do your analysis? Which time frame? I will do, uh, okay, let me ask you, would you suggest me doing it on H4, H4 H1, and then entering it on M15? Do H4. Okay. H4 is, so, I like it, that's, that's what I do. I'm not saying to repeat my process, but you can imitate it. Uh, you can do daily or four hours, but I love four hours. I'm, I'm going to go with the four hours because Pat also says about four hours and you're also saying about the four hours. So I will do my analysis on four hours. I did understand this morning that Pat was explaining uh, it's easier to do on H4 rather than B1. My question is, if we go to H, H1 right now, it, it does have three arrows and no. it is giving a... No, stop, stop. The flip-flop is not about the triple arrow. Okay. Triple error, you know, this, you're supposed to look this on your mobile because we don't have the triple error. Everything else that is in the chart, yes, you will, you will add it manually on your phone. Okay. But what you need to know, both of you, is we're looking for crossover. We got one there. Yes. The parabolic is showing up. The next one, it broke your 50 RSI, right? Which is the entry breaking towards the top no in the middle that's your 51 yeah just passing over the 50 correct yes that's what that's what you're looking for and okay. then you got another uh crossover on your statistic you're looking correct. for this particular three areas okay. four area with the parabolic and you are here only to take 10 pips because you are mastering this this bad boy here so 10 pips, it would have, you would have been out of the trade long back. But look, there's another thing that you can look into it, is look at how these two moving average are, are separate from each other. Right. That would tell you that this is gonna go uh, long, it's gonna go a buy for a long time. And when it closes clo to, uh, you know, almost the same, then that's, that's when it's getting weaker. Now right. the whole the whole trade is being taken only on the H4, not on the lower time. 
your no, your H four is your is your uh, engine. It's where you where you will know what will you do in your smaller time frame, whatever time frame you're gonna be using. Okay, so the analysis is done on H four, but the entry can be on M fifteen. Exactly. Okay, if we go to the same same spot on M fifteen, where will that be? Won't it be uh, much higher? What 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 do you think it? it has it not moved uh, quite a quite a good pips? Oh yeah, it went I think like seven hundred pip, three hundred pips. I already analyzed this with James before he joined. Yes, but it's here. Look, from there, you would it be two, yeah two hundred eighty eight pips. Okay. You see how accurate it is? Correct. So the entry has to be the the confirmation has to be on H four. And then we just enter it. What do you mean, Joe? Okay, until we get the confirmation on H4, we are not even taking the trade. Exactly, yeah. Okay, okay. all right. Okay. It doesn't matter how much it has moved on M15 or H1, uh, M30, it doesn't matter. The only condition is it has to cross on uh, H4 and then we take the 10 trade. You got it. You got all it, right. James? Yeah. Good. You say two minds works better than one? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, but then with the senior mind, it works much better. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so, so uh, you, yeah, you can go ahead and set it up on your mobile and just copy, you know, exactly what it's in here. Okay. 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 Any other question? No. Okay. This is on the flip flop, and if we go to uh, now and later, then what happens is, is is now there is no parabolic on that, and we use a triple arrow system. Yeah, well, the stair master, you what you're working on it is with the triple arrow, so you don't have no business to enter here. Right. Right, because your um, you're not working with the triple arrow. You just maybe adding to your entries because your entry would it be would it be here right where the triple arrow is sitting? Yes. Now, when you had a small pullback, then yes, you can add to that one. But we don't know how how far it's gonna be a buy. So the way that I was planning to jam is you can add uh, the trend line. Because you see these pullbacks, this, the sellers are weak. Look at the impulsive on the buyers. The buyers stronger, 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 stronger. They're controlling the market. Except here, we got a huge uh, drop on, on, the, uh, on the sellers. But the seller couldn't, couldn't handle it. So the buyers were stronger. So and then buyer took off, and then the seller got weaker, weaker, and weaker. And here the sellers got stronger. That's why this is very, very tricky. So what I would suggest you to do is go ahead and put a trend line in there when the when uh, when you're not sure if the market is really trending down. Just put a trend line in there, and if if it breaks your trend line then yes, you can go ahead and enter. But obviously, you got the daily dots and the four hours sitting. But this is a different language based on the, what the RSI is, you know, what I just teach you. So this, yes. you would need more understanding. But I, I think both of you can get it. It's not hard. Trading is, is simple if you just follow to the rules. If it's nothing else. Uh, to be complicated because the triple arrow give us all the direction we need and we all the daily and the four hours is giving us direction as well okay plus you know the colors on the candle it, it makes a huge difference yeah. yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but like right now jen jen i asked jen if it would take a, a cell in this particular one and the, his answer was no. 
what what would what will you tell me can you tell me if this is a nice sale or not you're asking me yes really okay um this is still hasn't formed the third arrow and the whole line hasn't turned into red and there are the bottom macd hasn't gone down it's almost flat um also i think the red bars are not below the white line so probably i will wait for a little while until it comes in amen there you go that's it i think both of you are ready so okay. another thing is please pay attention to the news my forex book and download the uh what's it the h forex yes. hour yes. so you yes. can have those two uh, uh uh apps on your mobile that will help you a lot and i think uh uh trip trip and i think you got it i think you're good to go even though that i haven't downloaded everything on your uh on your pc yet but at least you see the picture so when i when i put everything on it you should be good to go and james i think i know you are in europe and i, I probably it's midnight right now but i think this is a well uh time that you took off to to get educated on this i don't know if you have any more uh question on this and uh this is we're using his computer right now okay. so james when you need to jump between one and another you got your three ones in there so you can just use whatever you want. So I know you are interested only on the 10, on the 10 pips, on the fifth flap, 10 pips. Yes. So you just make sure you copy everything, the same thing on your mobile and, and that, sh that, sh that should be it. So <laughs> it, will it give me the notifications through MT4 on my, on my mobile? It should give you, yes. You have to uh, set it up. You have to go into, I think it's two option. You got to go. You have to go into your notification here, and you once yeah. you push enable uh, push notification, okay. uh, it's gonna send you a signal to your phone. Just follow this thing here on your notification. Okay. I'll get that sorted. And then you're gonna be getting this like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the the I mean you don't have to take them all. When you get a notification, what you can do is learn. Whatever yeah. it's telling you, go back to your chart and, and, and analyze it in that way and say, why is giving me this? Oh, it's not ready, it's ready. But it doesn't mean that you're gonna be taking everything. The problem is, you know, uh, if Pat releases a notification, a lot of people are gonna be blowing their account because they, they don't wanna check. They just want to take trade blindly. Yeah, <laughs> I've noticed. And, and, and that is going to cause, uh, you know, <laughs> the big issue. So make sure you guys, it, you, all you have to do is just uh, verify and, and learn from it. And that's the only way you can get good at it. And make sure you don't over leverage your account. Uh, start with one penny for a month. The second month, add another penny. The third month, another penny. But you're gonna be, every month, you're gonna get more knowledge and more knowledge and more knowledge. And six months from now, you're, you're gonna be an expert or a year from now. But you need to be consistent, profitable on this market. Now, don't just take something like